Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a look today that is a natural eyelid, but I'm actually going to do something with a pop of color. Just remember, I am not a makeup artist whatsoever. I just wanted to be relatable and show you what I do, what products I use, what I like to do, the different looks I like. I'm also going to be doing vlogs and lots of other things too to stay connected with you guys. I am going to use this moisturizer on as a primer i always use it i just find i would like it's the same thing moisturizer just works just as good so i'm gonna use moisturizer instead so anyway that's my opinion <laughs> so let's get started the look that i'm going for this is the zoo zoeva i don't even know how to say this that's embarrassing but this is the blank fusion but seriously how amazing is this <sighs> my god so pretty okay so i'm just going to be using these bottom colors on the top of my lid and then i'm going to go in with one of the kylie palettes to do a pop of color i'm gonna go green i really like green i'm going to use joy in the box I'm just blending that into the my into my crease just to define my eyes a little bit on the other side so now i'm going to use the question of taste this one and just also blend that into the crease of my eyelid too it's Greta's birthday today she's 33 she's got new tits killing business she's a mama hot body great hair goals cute I'm just winging this too. I don't really know what colors I'm going to use, so hopefully it looks really nice. Otherwise, um, that would be really embarrassing. Now I'm going to use the Kylie palette. So cool. I love that look. Kylie, Kylie, Kylie. Who doesn't love the Kardashians? They are so clever with business. Hot mamas. How many of them are mamas though? That is the question. I'm going to use the... Look how messy my palette is. Like, girl, clean your life. <gasps> You can use this one here. And I'm just going to go in again and just back into the crease. I don't really want to put too much on my lid, so it's just I'm just blending it all in. I'm also not going to put eyelashes on today because not everyone can have eyelashes. Some people can't afford lashes, or some people might not know how to put them on and get frustrated. So I'm not going to use lashes today. I'm basically just building in the crease. So I'm going to blend with a brush which has no makeup on it. Blend it up the top here. So now I'm gonna do my base. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. I've had a lot of requests to use this. I do love it in the medium. Now this color is a little bit dark for me. That's why I use this when I have a tan and I use the NARS when I don't have a tan. Now here's a question for you makeup people. Can you use a beauty blender to do your concealer but also use it to do your foundation? The same one. Or is that bad because you're mixing colors? Let me know. I'm gonna do it today because meh. Okay, beauty blenders are the bomb. I was like, please, how could a piece of foam like blend your makeup and make it look better? But it does, it actually does. Alright, now I'm going to use this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. Medium neutral, the colour. So it comes in like a thing like this and you just ooh, push the button. Oh, blend. Feels light. Isn't it funny what faces you make when you are putting on makeup? <laughs> like, I really like this foundation. It's got good coverage. It is a bit more coverage than I'm used to. I probably would wear this on nights out. All right, I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes in this color here, just first, and then we'll put the pop of color on. So I'm gonna be using this green from Kylie, this one right here. And I'm gonna use a slanted brush and go underneath. You can do a light face, but use a bit of color just to make it pop that little bit more. And I'm just gonna 
blend the corners out just so they're not as like intense. So that's what that looks like. All right, now I'm gonna do my brows and I'm gonna use the BYS Auto Brow Pencil in the shade brown. This is the second time I've used it and I actually really like it. So my eyebrows are tinted. So you can see just up the top here, I have a pretty good line to follow. And then I'm gonna use the brush to just brush it through So there's one brow done and one brow not done. I definitely would use this more going out. I think it's um it's a bit intense. Well, oh, made a mess of that. There we go. So that's my brows done. I'm just gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown corrector with a small brush. And then just up above my brow line, just to give it a bit of a highlight. So it just gives that little bit more definition. I'm just going to make sure that these are fully blended in. Alright, for my bronzer, I'm going to be using Thin Lizzy. I love Thin Lizzy. It's the only bronzer that I use. Just go from your ear to your like mouth. This light makes it really a lot darker than what it looks like in real life. And now we're gonna use a bit of Kylie. My favorite highlighter. Fenty's really good, but this is like goals. Tahiti from Kylie Jenner's Loose Powder co Collection. I'm making such a mess. I'm just gonna go just like that. Oh, so nice. Just above. And I'm also gonna do a little bit just up here to find the brow. Highlighter? No highlighter. And then just a little bit on the nose. Just give me a little bit of nose definition. And then just on my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil. I'm just gonna outline my lips and then I'm gonna put Breeze Balm over top. The shade is 1993. I have quite dark lips, so I have to go quite dark in a dark pencil. So I've outlined my lips. They might look hideous at the moment, but wet I love a probably breeze balm on. This is the For Him Breeze Balm, so it's actually a male breeze balm. <sighs> it smells so good. It's like a really light vanilla flavour. A pretty common flavour that men usually use for their lips. So I'm going to go ahead, just use a little bit on my finger. Like, look how pretty that is. And then up the top. And that's what you get with Breeze Balm. And lip liner. It's honestly so good for so many things. And I can put a link in the description box of where you can find Breeze Balm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Super Sizer uh, CoverGirl Mascara. Like I said, I'm not gonna put lashes on today because not everyone can use lashes. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like with mascara. <sighs> I love mascara. And then I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs. Just go underneath. Just layer it on top. I've done it again. I've got myself on the face again. But look at the difference. Like the mascara just is game changer. So if, if you don't have lashes, you don't have to have lashes. Lashes are amazing. I love lashes, but mascara is still just as good, especially if you've got really nice lashes to start off with. Oh my god. Next side. I'll fix it in a minute. 
I swear I'm going to do this on every video because I always stuff up my uh, mascara because my lashes are very long. Mark Jacobs down the bottom. This is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you love my makeup. Please make sure that you click the subscribe button to make sure that you see all my videos coming soon. It's gonna be a mix of things, vlogs, games, makeup, everything. <laughs> Don't forget also for Breeze Farm, this is my own product. My dad makes it, it's been in our family, the recipe for over 60 years. So I'm very, very proud of it. Hundreds of people all over the world are using it. They love it. It is so good for dry lip and keeping your lips maintained as well. Kissable. And it's great for over lipsticks, over matte lipsticks, normal makeup, no makeup at all, just your lips, over lip liner, as you can see today. So if you do want to jump, go to samuelio.com. I will put the link in the description box. We also have a men's lip balm. Yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll see you next time.